Hello and welcome back to Firewatch. It's been a couple of weeks since I played this. Uh, <clears throat> I got uh, involved in some other stuff, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, record a couple of sessions of this. So, uh, when last we left our hero, or at least our protagonist, Henry, uh, he had discovered what appeared to be a evidence that somebody had been listening in on the conversations he's been having over the radio with his supervisor, Delilah. Uh, he found a radio, a red radio, as opposed to his radio, which is yellow. Uh, and also uh, some notes that were basically a transcript of the conversations that they'd been having over the last couple of weeks. And then when he was talking to Delilah about that, uh, somebody came up behind him and hit him on the head and knocked him out for a time. And now he has uh, regained consciousness and he is going to investigate something called Wapiti Meadow because he saw a reference to Wapiti Station on the transcript. But before we do that, uh, we're going to um, open this up here and see if there's anything in here. I remember our combination, of course, is one, two, three, four. Whoop. Uh, that was interesting. Um, okay, note, take, uh, examine. Ron, got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, by just being with the yard? Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Interesting. Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you got must have got hung up, Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Professionales is Italian. Okay, so, uh, right. Okay, I'm going to hold that. Let's see. Um, doesn't look like I can add the map info. Here's the old sweater. Oh, this was, um, oh, I think this was one that I had already explored. Okay, so now, um, I am here. Wapiti Meadow is over there. So I want to head north east. Uh, let's see. What's the compass button again? Um, I don't remember. Uh, no. Um, compass. No, that allows me to take a picture. Uh, v. No. Z. Next. Hang on. Uh, settings. Controls. Compass, 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 compass. What's the compass? N. Okay. N. So I'm going to head northeast. So I'm going to head this direction. Let's see. R is to jog. Right. So let's see. We're going to attach a rope because I have all the rope. I have all the rope. All right, on our way to Wapiti Meadow, where we found a fence before, apparently. Oh, what's over here? Is there anything over here? Uh, damaged tree, which theoretically I could chop down. Okay, so at some point during this game, I'm going to have to drop that tree over that opening there. Ah, here's the fence. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. I found a gate. Well, see what you can do to get past it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Is it some Maybe super secret aliens? That'd be exciting. Government project? We'll see about that. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Hmm. Well, um <laughs> my big arms. Uh, okay, so no gate. Loose stone. Pick up loose stone. Hey, guess what I can do with this? I'm going to use a rock and bash the lock. Maybe. Um, that didn't work. 
All right, let's try another loose stone. Pick up the stone. Let's do some more. Use rock. I drop the rock, and then it disappears. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Ah, oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. How did I get up here? Where did I come from? Ah, I came this way. Okay, so, I have to go look for the burn. We're Ruby River. So I am up here, and I want to go... Where? Uh, Thunder Canyon, Casho 3, Medicine Wheel, Five Mile Creek, Ruby River. Oh, so I'm going to go way the heck over there. That's going to be a long ways away. So I need to head southeast. So first I got to head down and across the river, then head up past. Wow. Back. I basically got to head back to my lookout here. Okay, so uh, map goes away. We start running. Run, run, run. Gonna run all the way down there. So one of these things is I'm going to get an axe. Ooh, I wonder if I can climb up here. Can I climb up here? No, I cannot. Whoops. My little short stubby legs. Really, you should go check out that video of what your character looks like from the from an external view. It's pretty hilarious. Okay. Um, can I go this way? Yeah. So that tree that I was supposed to be able to knock down. Okay, map. Where am I? I am here. Okay, so I can continue on. Let's head kind of southwest. Yeah. Let's go this way. Basically, you're just going to head straight back. Back towards my place. Running through the bushes. Running under tree. Running across the meadow. Campfire. Butterfly. Music. Traveling music. East of the lake. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? And I gotta come down this one here. Wish I could kind of skip the animation here, because, I mean, while it's pretty and all, it does kind of waste time. I mean, I understand. Oh, that was weird. Slight um, hitch in the frame right there. And the blur effect. I am running rather silently. I'm going to guess this is the way to go. Well, I mean, yeah. Oh, look, here's another box. I'm pretty sure I've explored that box already. I'm not going to worry about it. Trees, young trees. This is that grove. Okay, map check. I am in the going in the wrong direction. Oh my gosh. Okay, dang it. Going in the wrong direction. That annoys me. Thought, hey, this looks good. This looks like the right way to go. No. That means I gotta go back up all the way up over here, climb this frickin' rope again. See, I wanna go up over there, but no. Dang it. Sorry about that. I suppose if I really wanted to get serious about this video thing, I would actually edit my videos instead of just uploading them as is. Map check. 
Okay. Yeah. Got to go up here and then turn right. Shouldn't have come down this uh, rope. Uh, wait, no, there we go. I don't know why I'm getting graphical hitching. Oh, come on. You can go up faster than that, Henry. You're in good shape. Freaking Popeye arms. Okay, this is the direction I want to go. Oh, that means I gotta climb this rope too. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, Maybe. it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. Well, it's not like these I, are I encrypted radios. Do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's oh. not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Um, if you're broadcasting in the clear and you're using uh, either AM or FM, in this case probably FM, uh, as your method of nope. frequency, mo as your method of uh, modulation of the carrier wave, and you're not encrypting it, then all somebody needs is a radio that can tune to that frequency and that can handle that type of modulation. For example, I have an amateur radio handset, which in addition to being able to transmit and receive uh, FM radio on two different um, frequency ranges that are used by amateur radio operators, uh, it can also receive AM radio in the frequency used by aircraft, so I can listen I know we into don't aircraft. Know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know, Ned... Ned was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone oh, in the bushes know. or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah. Ryan is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? No, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Okay, first of all, let me check where I'm going here. Alright, so I basically want to follow the signs to Ruby River. So basically, I want to head down here, kind of where I'm going, heading west, 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 east, east. I want to head east. And then, yeah, so, what's over here? Is, it, is there a route south out of here? Huh, okay. Well, let me see here. Where does this way go? Oh, there's that graphic hitching in. Anyway, as I was saying, I have this radio that 
It can listen to aircraft frequencies. It can listen to marine frequencies. And it can listen to the 800 megahertz band in FM, which is what used to be used by cell phones. And that was back when cell phone transmissions were not encrypted. They were not digital. They were analog, which means that you could listen to people talking on their cell phone. I'm going to open this up here. Oops. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, it, it wouldn't take much unless you were using some kind of digital encrypted radio. Three blind rats, Richard Sturgeon. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, map time. Okay, so yeah, I, I've... Okay, I can go this way. Yeah, actually, this is this is the best way to go anyway. Right, so straight south, across the river, and then to the east. But yeah, so it would not be hard. And um, I mean, you know, if this is just some kind of simple radio, like the family radio spectrum or something like that, again, you know, it's probably not encrypted. You know, it might even be like CB frequency, which is AM radio, unencrypted, transmitted in the clear. So it would not be hard for somebody to intercept your transmission. Now, if you were using digital encrypted radios, well, then somebody would have to have, <clears throat> somebody would have to have a radio that has been set up to be a part of that network and be able to decrypt. Oh, what's this? There's stuff's here. Wrecked snowmobile. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Map check. Okay, so I just want to continue heading east. Okay, I'm almost there. Almost there. Uh, nice pastel painting sky here. Oh, what's this? Camp, ah, Camp Arapaho. I have a feeling this is where I'm going. Broken bridge. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. I'm going to guess it's over here somewhere. Like here. Okay, here I am. I'm in the camp. Yay. Wow, place looks kind of. Uh, I'm at the camp. Great. Deserted. Have a look around. If if anyone's still there, they might be able to help. I'm gonna sound crazy. Maybe you just ask them to help you get inside the fence. If I didn't know it was out there, they probably don't either. This place looks dead, but I'll see what I can find. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Weeblos. Okay, so so just so you know, uh, uh, you may or may not have heard the term Weebelow. Uh It is a, um, a rank, I think, in the Boy Scouts of America. It's, it's actually short for Will Be Loyal Scouts. Yes, I was a Cub Scout when I was a kid. Have you ever talked to any of the Scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns. Ooh, model know? rockets. Cool. Yay! I did that, too. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. 
The what? The <laughs> champ. Hey, uh. planar dragon's armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Armor class. Yes, but was it was it uh, Thaco? There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. What's this? Missing persons flyer. Read. This is Mitch Michaels, age 31, height 602, 165. Seeing Mitch Michaels last seen around Josie Lake on July 3rd, 1981. Uh, he was first reported missing July 29th by Forest Service personnel. I should seen around Josie Lake, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, sure, I'll hang on to this. I have no idea if it's something that's worth keeping or not. Um, I want to go downstairs now. Thank you. Uh, is there anything here? No. Uh, is there anything over here? I mean, these are pretty much destroyed. Okay, well, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, end this session and pick it up immediately after. So thank you for watching and uh, insert witty ending remark here. <laughs>